These purple marsh crabs are being tethered to fishing line. Oop, oop, oop. Get back here, bud. Who would think these crustaceans could wreak so much havoc in the marshes of Cape Cod? Blue crabs like these are their main predator, but they're being overfished and their numbers are dwindling. The result is an abundance of hungry, nocturnal purple marsh crabs, gorging unchecked on healthy fields of cord grass, leaving behind lumpy areas of mud. The cord grass that's being destroyed here is the foundation species or the, that, that builds salt marshes. Went right off the edge. Brown University marine ecologist Mark Burtness studies this threatened ecosystem. Marshes protect our coastal environment by nurturing a complex web of plants and animals, filtering nutrients and serving as a critical storm barrier. When I see the marshes decimated like this, I, I feel sad. Burtness has set up experiment stations all over Cape Cod to monitor the impact of purple marsh crabs on the local habitat. Okay, he's ready to go. Burtness leaves them tethered to sticks, offering an easy meal for any hungry blue crabs. He also sets up predator traps. And that's what's left. Here, all the purple crabs get eaten, and the trap is full of those predator blues. It's no coincidence that this is a healthy looking marsh. But where the marsh grass is eroded, the tethered crabs remain untouched. The male still alive? And the predator okay. trap is empty. These are waters that have been depleted by, uh, uh, by recreational fishing from that marina right over there. People like fishing and they like salt marshes and they don't understand there's a pretty tight linkage between the health of, the, of both of them. Salt marshes are such an important nursery ground habitat for both recreational and commercial fisheries that it's in their best interest to understand these linkages. Burtness says as long as purple marsh crab populations are high, this ecosystem will remain ah! This one pinched me. In a real pinch. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.